was the idea of spacing in the half court sets. They still were able to open up for a lot of easy threes. Irving. And that one's good. Irving's got 15 points. Another bucket in the paint. That's something they just have not been able to stop to them. Yeah, the defense is all about disrupting timing and spacing, and, and what they've got going right now is not getting it. Yeah, and even without LeBron or Ray Allen, as you said, they were very good at setting up threes. The percentage of their made threes that were assisted on is over 90%. That's top three in the league for that stat. You know, even with players coming and going, this spacing they have is a system the Heat have found to be very successful for. I mean, parts might come and go, but the idea is the same. Space the floor and get quality shots from the perimeter. The Heat making a switch here. Charles has checked in. His shot's good from her game. And his stroke has been dead on from the outside. I mean, inside, outside. It just doesn't matter. Right side is screen on Irving. Inside, and it's Tottemeyer with the jam. And, and guys, right now, the defense mentally not there. Can't afford too many of those in a close game like this. Yeah, Jay, you're right. Almost a free run, don't you think? Clark to the hoop for a man. Momentum can swing on plays like that, Kevin, especially when the finish has that much thunder on it. For Miami, they've got nearly everything to drop this court. They're 7 of 8 from the floor since halftime. Wade passes to Stottemeyer. That falls nicely that time from Dwayne Wade. 12 points for Stoudemire. For Cleveland, they've gone even 5 of 10 on shot attempts in the third. Here's LeBron. Foul call that to the way up. That'll give them two chances at the free throw line here. Some people think LeBron's athleticism, Clark, has declined over the last few years. He well, might be the first to admit it. Because he still looks terrific, though. Well, he's, uh, you know, that's a natural progression for any player, even if you are LeBron. But he's still an elite athlete by NBA standards. Free throw for LeBron. And remember the quote from LeBron on the subject. Obviously, I'm not the 18-year-old kid that I was before, but I can still do the things I need to to be successful. Catching up on the changes for Cleveland. Tristan Thompson has checked in for Love. Smith comes in for Richard Jefferson. And Mo Williams subbed in for Matthew Delavidova. They kick it out to Green. Shot from 12. And another basket for Miami. You know, LeBron was just so far ahead of everyone in the league when he was young. I mean, even a LeBron who has lost a step is more athletic than any percent of our league. Offensively, it's been a perfect quarter for him. He hasn't missed a single shot. The three from Chalmers. Rebound by Williams. Cleveland's gotten the three-point bug tonight. They've taken 15 shots outside the arc. Six of 15. So they take the lead. Williams has got nine points. 36 seconds left here in the third quarter. Well, I like the move to go 2 for one here. So do I, Greg. I mean, I agree with you. They need to get a quick look and then try to get another possession after that. Winslow dishes to Stoudemire. 11 feet away. Got that one as his second make in eight attempts. He is a scorching 86%. Cleveland's gotten the three ball working for them in the second half. They've hit three out of three shots from long range. Irving against Chalmers. Now, here is Irving. Got it off in time. Oh, and he just knocked it Oh, what a monster shot to close out the third. They've taken the lead going into the final quarter. Terrific game so far. <laughs> Miami trailing. LeBron and Love are the talented pair at the forward position. Amon Shepard is out there with Kyrie Irving. 
and it's Thompson in at the center, filling out the middle. That's the five for Cleveland right now. Here's Irving. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. And what is Goran Dragic's greatest traits, Greg? Selling in the open court. High energy point guard. A lot like you, speed to burn, very smart guy, uh, coveted by many. He really is, and Kevin, he transitions from defense to offense as quickly as anyone in the league, a la Tony Parker, mm. except he's also equally adept at facilitating for others and spotting up for the three, or just taking it to the rack himself. Mozgov, he's checked in for the Cavaliers. Shepard against Wade. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Now Cleveland shooting a tremendous 61% from the floor, hitting at all cylinders. And it's well off target. Yeah, real nice shot selection there. I, I guess he's working on his buzzer beater form. And that's a reach, but perhaps that is the case. Or maybe, maybe no! he was trying to knock a bird off of the scoreboard. He's <laughs> <laughs> about right. Because I still can't figure that one out. No, no, I see no birds up there. No. The Heat have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Stoudemire with a screen on Irving to the middle. Bosch. And he comes off the screen and skims it through. Boy, Stoudemire doing a nice job setting that screen. Very nice. Cleveland's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. James against Dang. LeBron's shot is good. And the Cavaliers lead by two. And that set them apart today, guys. Their success with the mid-range. Simply taking advantage of what the defense has given them, and they've really made the most of it. And the Heat call time here. LeBron James, by many surveys, and no surprise here, GA, the most popular athlete in America. I mean, the highest paid player in the league. And you know what? He deserves it. This guy has really carried the mantra as the face of our game, as well as anybody. And I tell you what, people now are starting to acknowledge the guy also delivers when it matters. Mm -hmm. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Well, guys, I was able to listen in on what Eric Spolster was going over with his team in that last huddle. He really wants them to try to push the tempo here, see if they can get a few easy buckets in transition, saying, listen, we're playing station to station right now. Let's try to catch them off guard, guys. Let's see if they can do exactly that, Kevin. And you know, for LeBron, he's blazed a trail as far as his business empire is concerned. He gave his childhood friends a chance to manage his affairs. Many thought it was a huge mistake, but he's doing quite well with the guys that he chose. Timeout called Cleveland. And for LeBron, he said he would like to be a billionaire. It's his ambition to have an influence that goes beyond the game. And, and guys, he is certainly on his way. Dragic has gotten it done so far from the field tonight, making four of his six attempts. Here's Irving. And again, it's Cleveland. <laughs> Kyrie Irving He's starting to fill it up in bunches now. The Heat have gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. That puts them in the lead. And it's 13 points for Gordon Drunkish. Time running low, guys, and uh, somebody has got to win this one. This game, as close as it's been, you really hate to see it come to an end. I agree. Yeah, well, who knows? We might need overtime in this one. It's been that kind of a game. The Heat have gotten four of their six shots to fall so far here in the fourth. A pretty nice efficiency there. Left side, Bosch. Fourth quarter of play, we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Dragic with a wide open look. Off target from outside. Well, if this game comes down to the rebounding battle, they'll be the ones coming out on top. They've had a strong game on that front, Clark. No doubt about it. Wade outside. Dang gets a wide open look. The basket good off the assist from Wade. Wade's got his third assist on the night. LeBron drives in, and he finishes nicely on the way. LeBron's got 19 points. That's a brain freeze right there from the entire defense. Now is not the time to lose your focus. Bang for three. Mozgov grabs the board. Mozgov got his fourth down in this one. And the 
Cavaliers call time here. The score nodded at 64. 152 left in the fourth quarter. Yeah, saw some things that just weren't working for them and wants to make some adjustments. Yeah, and no reason to wait around to do that, Greg. I mean, might as well make those adjustments right away. And Miami making a change here. Right side's checked in. <laughs> LeBron against Dang. The drive by James. Count it. And with that basket, he's now 9 of 15 from the floor. Now a timeout called by Miami. They're trailing by two. 146 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Kyrie Irving really making a difference here. He's in one heck of a groove with the scoring. They're going to talk it over and try to figure out how to slow him down. Wade gets to Dragic. Out to Wade. From outside the arc. That's him coming off an assist from Dragic. Dragic has got assist number eight now on the night. Irving with it. Wade picks him up. Got that one. And that's now 33 points for Kyrie Irving. And he has just been in a flow offensively. Terrific game. He has been the X Factor. Timeout called the Heat. They're down by one. 133 left to play in the final quarter. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. A good night for Chris Bosch. He has nine points, and from long range, he's hit one three-pointer. And when it's all said and done, I got a sneaky suspicion he's going to have a few more. And the yes. second free throw, no good. A tough break there. They should be in front right now, but he'll be relieved not to have come up totally empty there. And the shot is good. Execution, really, when it matters most. He knew he had the height advantage and just got the job done. No need to pass in that situation. Shumper with the steal. One ten left here in the fourth quarter. Miami's on three of five from beyond the arc since the final quarter's gotten underway. Wade can't hit. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the fourth. Nice job against Dragic. Kicks the way. Cut! He has tied up this game. Oh, what a shot. No doubt about it. Wade has found the touch right now. Here's Irving. Money! Irving got him falling right now. That's for sure. 34 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Still a chance here, but they need to score. I really agree, but it has to happen on every possession. They need points every trip. It's offline from half court. Timeout called the Heat. They're losing by two. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter. What's your take, guys? You know what? You can go for the three to win or the two to tie. What's your choice in a situation like this, Clark? Well, I don't think you set that decision in stone and anchoring in in this timeout. You see how things play out. You're going to try to get a good, quick shot. And if it's a good three with a good shooter, let it fly. If it's something in the paint, then you take that. But it's about being a good, quick shot in this situation. Timeout called Cleveland. The score is tied at 72. There's 18 seconds left in the fourth quarter.
Here's James. They could win it. Got it! He got it! Just in time! What a shot! Down he goes at the buzzer. Boy, it doesn't get any better than that. Phenomenal finish with three at the horn. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I guess really, that's about the only way we could expect a game like this to close the curve. <laughs> Sports post game show. Many thanks, Kevin. So now we move on to our Jordan player of the game, Kyrie Irving. He had an outstanding third quarter. Whatever they needed in terms of energy and offense, he was the firepower that propelled them during the second half. He was dead on from the field tonight, guys. I'd call his performance economical because there was no wasted opportunity. He took advantage of every good look he got. I mean, everything he put up was going in. Kyrie, whew, I mean, you know, this dude is a composed, mature leader. Along with all that mental strength, he's got such an incredible feel for the game. He runs the floor, he passes beautifully, and he can shoot from lights out anywhere on the court. And that'll do it for our broadcast tonight. Hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, for me, and, and Kenny Smith, and Shaquille O'Neal, and Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K Sports crew, have a wonderful evening. Sports pregame show. <laughs> With the Diesel and the Jet, this is Ernie Johnson. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. Our featured matchup tonight out in New York, where the Knicks will be going up against the Cleveland Cavaliers. Checking out Cleveland. They're looking to come out strong and make their mark early. They have to look at this game as a great opportunity to do just that. And guys, the fans always enjoy hearing stories from your playing days. Uh, let's talk teammates. Shaq, who were your favorite guys to play with over the years? You know, everyone loves the Shaq, and Shaq has four rings. I'm, I'm saying it here. They all In love real the life. Shaq. Everybody loves Shaq. I'm, I'm sexy, handsome, and powerful. I think my question anyway, was who were your favorite teammates. <laughs> you know, I to say, hey, I got four rings, but I can, you you know, I to say that. could not do it without Brian <laughs> Shaw. Brian Shaw was a guy that always looked for me. Similar with, with, with how Kenny played with the team. He came down, made sure I got my shots off first. Derek oh, Fisher was a good four shots. Rick Fox was a hustler, go out and play. Big shot Bob. Oh, wow, saved one of my so favorites too. So he's, he's won both of our favorites. Big shot Bob <laughs> saved me so many times. I would probably only have one. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Welcome to 2K Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg. We've got an Eastern Conference battle ready to get rolling, and this New York crowd wants some love from their Knicks. Here's the starting group for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Down low, it's Love and Mozgov. Filling out the wings, it's Shepard and LeBron, and it's Irving at the one spot. You know, for Carmelo last season, it was Murphy's Law. What could go wrong did go wrong. After signing Melo to a max deal, the Knicks management expected a bunch from him. But with the new offense and a bad knee, it didn't happen. Good. Chris pass into the paint. On defense, Cleveland. Now let's go over to Doris Burke, who spoke with Derek Fisher. No. Doris? Team rebounding is something he stressed to his side, and rightfully so when you face a player that gobbles up the glass like Kevin Love. He told me that Love rebounds at an unreal rate, and his side can't take any mental breaks when it comes to boxing out on the defensive end. Love's numbers validate that fear, guys. And thank you for that, Doris. Good. I mean, how about the perseverance there, the extra effort on that offensive glass? The Knicks have gone 0-3 from the field to start the game. Clark, some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. And again, it's the Knicks missing. The Cavaliers have gone two or three here to start out the game. James. The half-court bomb falls off target. New York's gone 0-2 from deep here. Anthony against Mozgov. Here's a follow. That's in there. Anthony with the assist. And boy, did they need that one. Their first make in the five field goal attempts they've had. And so it's Cleveland with it. James. A follow pulls it in. The Knicks have gone just one for five in the field to start the quarter. Here's Persingas. The good looking shot from the wing. Here's James. Now about two minutes gone here in the first quarter. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. And LeBron has been in the postseason every year since his rookie season. Last year he passed Jerry West on the all-time postseason scoring list. I'm sure he'll just continue to climb up the record. And for LeBron in the playoffs last season, he did more than just score. Clark, he did it all and really stepped his game up when Kevin Love went down, when Kyrie Irving was hobbled. Uh, he, he covered every base. Yep, and that's what's so impressive about LeBron in the playoffs. Everybody expects him to lead and hit big shots, and he never lets him down. Very rarely does he come up short in big moments. Now, here's Lopez. Shoots from 12, and he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. From 17 feet out, a nice shot by LeBron. It is so hard to contain it. He just seems to get it done however he has to do it. A shot by Anthony, nobody around. And that misses, that would have put him up. For Cleveland, they've gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. Offensive rebound. I don't, I'm not even going to comment on that. Neither am I. I mean, if you're going to attempt the buzzer beater, I guess I, I will comment. Make sure there's actually a buzzer to beat. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. And, you know, the defense gets their money's worth on that foul, stopping the layup and not giving up the end one. New York shooting their first foul shots of the night here. And, guys, the first year for David Blatt, he was second-guessed at every turn. And that happens when you are picked to make the finals, but also when you coach LeBron James. Catching up on the changes for New York, Kevin Serafin, he's checked in for Lopez. Kyle O'Quinn comes in for Perzingis. Jose Calderon, he's checked in for Carmelo Anthony. And it's Grant in for Langston Galloway. Snatched up. Here's Thompson. 151 left to play in the first quarter. Not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let, let's see if he can eventually get back on track. 
New York moving the ball around. Grant dishes to Serafin. Offensive rebound. Here's O'Quinn, and he makes good on the layup. Just a grinder. Always doing the... Greg, everyone did wonder if he would be the right fit early. As the season wore on, the Cavs got tougher. Those questions, Clark, went away. Yeah, and I think most people forget that he's an iconic coaching legend overseas. Good I point, mean, yeah. so coaching is coaching. Sure, it's not the NBA, but this guy brought a pedigree and resume that was quite substantial. The feed now to Grant. Kicks it to Calderon. All sorts of time. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Yeah, and listen, sometimes even the best of us are going to miss the easiest of opportunities. Williams is checked in for Elena Flala. And Cleveland also making a change. Jefferson's checked in for LeBron. Calderon kicks to O'Quinn. Pass to Grant. He dishes it to Serafin. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. Seraphim's got his first basket of the night. Here is Williams. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Seven second difference, shot and game clock to the paint. Thompson passes to Williams. And Verizhao kicks to Smith. Stolen by O'Quinn. And now here comes Williams leading the break. And the rejection by Smith. And it's O'Quinn with the rebound. Well, the effort was there, but he just couldn't quite fight his way through traffic. Fires from deep. He got it up that time, but it wouldn't fall for him. James trying to will his Cavaliers team to its first title. Teammate Kevin Love says LeBron made it clear from the start what he expected. Now when someone like LeBron talks about what you need to bring to the table, you, you better bring it. <laughs> yeah, I would think so. You'd be better served to go right along with what he's talking about. And dub the new big three along with Kyrie. I think if they just keep following LeBron's lead and advice, the sky's the limit. And off we go. A close game now starting the second quarter. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Knicks? Really active hands early on here as they're able to acquire several steals. Well, they've really been aggressive guys on defense, and it's paid off, so why stop? Keep it up. Derek Williams is out there with Anthony. Then there's Calderon. Then there's Robin Lopez. And it's Galloway in at the point. They're the group New York will start the second one. That's good. You have to be disciplined on defense, Kevin. Biting on every pump fake isn't going to get it done. Outside Williams. Right wing. There's Galloway. Covered by Irving. Nobody near Williams again good on that shot and with that the Cavalier lead is cut to just one of the basket from Lopez just lazy defense on the glass there well nobody boxed out nobody put a body on anybody else things like that not only drive the coach crazy that stuff gets under my skin boy for the Knicks last season saying it was rough is an understatement there was a lot of turbulence and some of it was due to their defense they just had a difficult time stringing together stops and Cutting down opponent's scoring chances. A different look for New York. Rozingas comes in for Williams. And it's a follow in for Jose Calderon. And then for Cleveland, Mozgov comes in for Tristan Thompson. And LeBron's subbed in for Jefferson. Here's a follow. A three off the inbound. It's good for his second make. He's made two or three so far. A wide open three. They need much better communication defensively. It's LeBron with the drive. 
Good D by Lopez. For New York, they've gone two of four shooting the ball here in the second. Anthony with it, now guarded by Shumper. Alfalo dishes to Anthony. Shoots from the line, and the Knicks good for two. This has been a thriller. You cannot say enough about the way these two teams have competed. All indications, Greg, are that this game is going down to the wire. I mean, I'd be surprised, actually shocked, if it ended any other way. Here's Galloway, guarded by Shumpert, and the rejection by Love. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Love. And it's the Knicks with the ball. Galloway kicks to Anthony. From 10 feet out, Lopez, no luck. You know, the Cavs had a slow start to last season compared to how everybody thought they would play. Still, it was the best start for Kevin Love in his career and would end up being the most winning team he's played on. Says something about how long he's waited for success. And Galloway pulls it down. The Knicks have gone 3 to 7 shooting the ball here in the second quarter. There's the pick, and here's Anthony for three. The Knicks rebound. Here's Aflalo. He takes the 12-footer and hits. Aflalo's got eight points. You know, that part of the floor, guys, is more or less his real sweet spot, right in his wheelhouse. And Love, who would also go on to make his first postseason appearance, played in the first round last year. It was a complete 180 for him in what he was used to at Minnesota. And even though there were ups and downs for Love last season, you know that he must have enjoyed winning for a change. And being in the league so long without making the playoffs, he finally got a chance to play in the postseason. Here's Galloway following the basket by Kyrie Irving. Mr. to Persingas, feeds it to a flower. <laughs> Shot is off. And Cleveland the other way now. The drive by James took him no time at all on that one. LeBron's got his second bucket. Well, here in the second, not as listless. They're showing some signs of life offensively. You know, steadying themselves. After a tough start, they're back on track. Here's Galloway looking for his first basket still in this one. Porzingis can't hit. The defense there got away with a major lapse. And out of bounds as the Knicks gain possession. I can see Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, he's checked in for the Knicks. Grant comes in for Langston Galloway. And then for Cleveland, Anderson Verajau's checked in for Mozgov. Smith comes in for Kevin Love. And Mo Williams subbed in for Kyrie Irving. And uh, almost four minutes gone here in the second quarter of play. Pass to Serafin. Makes it off the glass. Serafin's got the game tied up here for New York. Here it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great position inside. Yeah, just getting the ball into the post has to be option number one for them right now. Here's Grant. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. And taking a quick look here, guys, at the hustle stats for New York. They've come out in attack mode on the defensive end. They've applied pressure and forcing turnovers. You know, they've also shown some real tenacity here early on tonight. They've paid off with a lot of second chance points. Here's James after Jaron Grant's bucket. And finished off by LeBron. Just so fast. I mean, it's like trying to stop a train when he's coming in for the slam. 46 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Grant against Williams. Grant kicks to a follow. Puts it up from 12, and again it's New York. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. There's 21 seconds left in the first half. Now here's James. He's got eight. Just five on the clock. With the shot. And again, it's Cleveland. Anthony. And so it's tied as we head to halftime. And now we'll send it down to Doris Burke, who's standing by courtside. 
Yes, Kevin, I'm here with LeBron, and you obviously have been very productive. How pleased are you with where you're getting the basketball and how you're scoring? Um, I'm very pleased with my individual performance right now, but uh, you know, not so pleased with it. You know how I'm trying to you know help our teammates. You know I'm, I, I got to do a better job of trying to get our teammates in the flow, as well as keep myself in a good group too. So um, hopefully I can do a better job of that in the second half. LeBron, thank you. Kevin, he can't do it by himself. Thank you, Doris. And folks, don't go away after the break. We'll see you right back here for the start of the second half in the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody. Ernie Johnson here, joined by Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. We welcome you to the halftime show on 2K Sports. For the Knicks, the first quarter was pretty even. Their largest deficit of the period was just four points. They were right there within shouting distance the entire time. They couldn't hold on to the slim lead they had at the start of the second quarter and headed into the locker room with the game all knotted up. Taking a look at the Knicks, Kenny, what'd you think? Well, one place they had the edge was on the offensive boards. They converted those extra possessions into points. Nothing is more demoralizing to a defense than forcing a miss and then giving up a second attempt. The offensive glass is going to pay big dividends for them. Shaq, how do you think Cleveland played? Well, if you can't shoot the ball, you might want to stop chucking it up. They keep trying the three, but it's not going down. They're relying too much on the three ball, way too much. It's good when it's falling for you, but when it's not, you have to try something else. And that's it for halftime as the second half is just about to get underway. See you after the game. Welcome back, everyone. The second half about to get underway, and it's been a close one so far. We've seen Aaron Aflalo really having a great game. And he just went off. <laughs> In those first two quarters, guys, he's capable of doing that on a consistent basis as well. So we might see some changes from a defensive standpoint as they try to disrupt his rhythm in the second half. You know, guys, I think you've got to make some sort of change. I mean, they can't let him continue to torch him up like he has been. Checking out the group for David Black to start the second half. Going out the wings, it's Shepard and LeBron. Down low, it's Love and Mozgov. And it's Irving at point guard. Well, what a season for Kyrie Irving last year. Huge moments for him. 57-point outburst against San Antonio. That was a new franchise record for the Cavs. I think a lot of it was finally being able to play with other All-Stars, quite honestly, Kevin. But you can't discount the work Irving put into the offseason to be ready for the regular season. Timeout called the Cavaliers. And, and for Irving... He did come into last year hot. I mean, he won the MVP in international play while with Team USA. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. Hi, Kevin. Derek Fisher was just going over the plan with his team. The focus of this discussion was getting their offense to run through a flalo. Coach is looking for big things from him throughout the rest of this game on the offensive end. A lot of the scoring burden will fall on him. Those could prove to be crucial changes to their strategy with this game getting ready to Why enter. Why do I keep doing that? All right, boys, thank you very much. And, and for Kyrie taking home the MVP and a Team USA tourney like that, it, it's a huge ego boost. I mean, of all the stars on that team, he shined the brightest. And I think that's going to help his confidence for this year. So it's the Knicks now after LeBron's three-pointer that didn't go. And the Knicks miss again. Mozgov. The Knicks pull it in. Uh, stop That's doing that. First four to start the second half. I'm thinking the button gets stuck down. like Here's that. Here's Anthony. It's just it's rebounded by Cleveland. LeBron's got his fourth rebound in this one. What a sluggish, muddy start to the second half. Still scoreless. Irving. And the officials call a traveling violation. Oh, no, you hate to see that. Those are just the kind of errors that can cost you in a game like this. Jose Calderon was checked in for New York. Tristan Thompson, he's checked in for Cleveland. Just over a minute and a half have passed here in the third quarter. Anthony on the wing. The shot's good on the assist by Calderon. Anthony's got five. 
finally get one to drop after starting the half with four straight planks. And here's James outside. Whistle blows. It's going to be a travel. And New York making a change. Williams is checked in. Knicks have gone only one of five from the field since halftime. Very slow start offensively. Well, you go back last season, the Cavs had a very slow start to the year. Not surprising. They had a lot of new faces and people they were bringing together. Clark, uh, it didn't look like the... Well, oh, stop doing it! Dang! We well, you know, they were kind of fumbling and bumbling around in the fifth and sixth what? months in the East for the first this half of the season. Uh, made some changes, though, through trade, and that got them going, I think. And Cleveland making a change here. Jefferson's checked in. Anthony on the wing. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Thompson with it. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. And those midseason trades for the Cavs really turned things around. Moskov came in, J.R. Smith, and Shepard secured that two spot. Gave this team an incredible edge defensively. And not even three quarters out of the way. So many lead changes. One heck of a game. I mean, guys, this has been outstanding in terms of effort that both sides have been able to put on. I'm looking yeah. over there at Greg. He's enjoying every second of it, Clark. Yes, yeah. Listen, the, the fans, guys, are getting their money's worth. Heck, I should have paid to watch this one. It's been a nail bite. Yeah, and you know, they built the roster to how they played best midseason. I mean, it was a great job, I think, by the front office to get the players that fit best into the locker room and into the team style of play. That's good. And the Knicks lead by one. Boy, such outstanding patience and decision making for them offensively. Absolutely. Their ball movement has been outstanding, and they're piling up the assists. And the Cavaliers call time here. Carmelo Anthony, the third pick overall in the 2003 NBA draft, was in some pretty good company at the top of that, as I recall. I mean, you, you had LeBron going one, and of course, Darko Lucic was number two on that list. But how about he weighed at four? A, a little bit of a surprise, Chris Bosh, and all those guys, with the exception of Melo, have run. Mm -hmm. A different look for New York. Kevin Serafin is checked in for Lopez, and it's Grant in for Langston Galloway. J.R. Smith's checked in for the Cavaliers. Williams comes in for Irving. What the heck? The Knicks with the lead. And back to Melo's top five draft mates in 2003 all having rings. You can't choose the team you play for as a rookie. Melo simply hasn't been surrounded by that much talent. That's why it was somewhat surprising that he re-signed with the rebuilding Knicks team last season. Love goes in, and he gets it to go. Guys, he's got the length to get to the rim, and when he gets there, you never see a clumsy or awkward finish out of him. Everything is smooth and fluid. And it's Williams throwing it down. He always knows where his teammates are going to be, and Kevin, that will let him put the ball where he wants it, right waiting for him. Hey guys, talking about Melo, I mean, he's faced some difficult injuries here of late. That puts all the more pressure on him to win a ring as soon as possible. No way does he want to retire without that chance. Calderon, no good. I wonder what the score would be. Oh, why is he keep doing that over and over and over again? I'm getting sick of it. So for the Knicks, Kyle O'Quinn comes in for Derek Williams. And it's a follow in for Jose Calderon. Then for the Cavaliers. Let's go, bro. Come on. Come back already. Come back already. New York's gone one and two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. And O'Quinn kicks to a follow. They set the pick. O'Quinn, the pass to a follow. Here's Serafin. It's good. A true contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play chance here. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And this season, he's maintained very good form at the line, shooting at about an 83% clip. 
He's been a completely different guy at the line this season. I mean, last year, you weren't sure what you were going to get when he got to the strike. Um, there's no way we could have expected such a huge increase in those free throw percentage numbers. You know, the defense was lax right there, and he's able to make them pay. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Grant dishes to a follow. Anthony right side. And a pick comes off the rim, but it sinks right in. Anthony's got five points now this quarter. Really good job there. That's the definition of the inside-out game. Here's Devil Vidot. Outside Williams. Oh, and the buzzer beaters good. Much in the clutch to finish the quarter. That tray ties it up as we approach the fourth. start the action up here in the fourth quarter and if it's anything like the first three we should be in for a treat the Knicks shooting under 40 percent all in all for the game they've got Anthony Robin Lopez out there with Porzingis. Then there's a follow, and it's Galloway in the one. So that's who's on the floor for the Knicks. Oh, yeah. oh here's a follow. Fades away. Mozgov grabs the board. Mozgov's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Well, the Cavaliers shooting 49% on the game. They'll take that. A drive by Shumpert. That's good. Shumpert's got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for the Cavs. And I'm sensing something special going on here tonight. It certainly does have the feeling of a classic, Greg. Let's see which team is better equipped to handle the pressure. And out of bounds as the next game possession. That's a major mental mistake. I mean, there's no other way for me to describe it. He didn't know where he was on the court. That's a, that's a, that's a basic fundamental. You have to be alert to where you are. Thompson, he's checked in for Cleveland. New York trailing, and a follow wide open. He shoots. He's now made half of those 10 shots in the game. That's his fifth basket. Excellent communication on the inbound play there, guys. He got in a good position, and the pass was as it needed to be on time and on target. Now here's James. The drive by Shumper. And again, it's Cleveland. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. New York calls timeout. And Iman Shumper, more athlete than player when he enters the league. 42 inch max vertical, shoulders carved like Michelangelo. But he had a long way to go in terms of his skill set. And you can see that evolution right before your eyes. Here's Galloway. Terrific design on the pick play, and he lays it in. Galloway has got the game tied up here for the Knicks. Outside Irving. About a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now. There's the steal. And now the Knicks on the break. Here's a follow. That's good, and so Galloway with the assist. 14 points for Aaron Oflala. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for New York. Their high-energy defensive effort has paid off for them, guys, with more than a few steals over the course of the ball game. Yeah, and also the way they've been able to generate points off of the turnovers that they forced tonight has also helped. Timeout called Cleveland. So far, his shot selection has been questionable. Allow a tough, contested shot. If I'm coaching, I might sit him down for a minute. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Well, over the break, I listened in on David Blatt's huddle. He is not happy with their perimeter defense, saying, guys, way too many open shots for them beyond the three-point line. We've got to press up closer and try to crowd them off the arc. 
guys. We'll see if they got the message. You know, one of the more impressive things that we know about LeBron James is that he is one of the great leaders in the NBA. His voice carries a lot of weight, and he hasn't been shy about raising his voice on social issues either. Good to see. So he hits one of two from the strike. And speaking of LeBron's leadership trying to will this Cavs team to a title, one of his greatest challenges. And, and, and Kevin, the expectations are just so high. He, he may have had less talent around him in his first stint in Cleveland, but after winning titles in Miami, anything less seems like a step back. And guys, here in the fourth quarter, still a close game. Yeah, and actually still too close to call. I mean, this one is tight. Instant classic, fellas. This one could come right down to the Let's last shot. In. Here's Galloway. Tristan Thompson picking up that last bucket. Nice shot by Porzingis. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Purposeful passing it is, partner. Their last 10 points have all come off assists. Irving can't get it to go. Oh, my goodness. That's that's like temporary insanity right there. Do you think he realizes we've actually got a game, a serious game taking place here? I, I have my doubts, partner. Just impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. Five straight baskets, Greg, resulting from assists. They're playing as one unit out there. Timeout called Cleveland. That was a good time to call the timeout to try to settle everybody down and get back into their offensive rhythm. They've been coughing up the rock an awful lot. The Cavaliers trail by three. And here's James outside. The long distance yes. is good. James has got four points in the quarter. Yes. And far too good a look to give them from behind the arc. Three of their last five makes come from beyond the arc. The defense has to react quickly. And that is good. And he is starting to turn it on now after that slow start. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. What a night so far for LeBron. He has 14 points, and he's added to his totals by picking up three points at the line as well. Yeah, that'll balance out that stat sheet nicely. I mean, you always want to see at least a few points from the free throw line. Right on the first, and that narrows the gap to one. Both free throws, good from James. And he's got such a smooth stroke, and it never changes, even in this kind of a high-pressure situation. New York calls timeout. And you can tell they're just a little out of sync. I think he just wants to get everybody back on the same page. Yeah, I like this timeout, Greg. I think it's a good one because it looks like they need a, a minute to talk things through. One fifty-two left in the fourth quarter. Back to Anthony. That's good. And so Galloway with the assist. Galloway has got four assists now tonight. These defenders look overmatched right now, especially inside. Well, they've given up ten of the last twelve points in close range. So I'd have to agree with you, partner. <coughs> Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. minutes into the fourth quarter back to Anthony the shot is off great D that time from James Cleveland's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter and Galloway pulls it down and, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight but not sure on that position they get a bet a follow Excellent D there from Moskov. Cavaliers have gone five of eight shooting as we've come down the home stretch in this final quarter. And one will go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play.
And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown so far for the Cavaliers. You know, I thought maybe they'd cool off a bit at halftime, but they've continued to bury the jump shot. They've repeatedly gotten out on the break tonight as well and scored a lot of baskets in transition. Here's a follow. Good! A huge shot to tie it up. And he is really in a zone right now, playing and scoring with confidence. The drive by LeBron. It's good! <laughs> Boy, is it tough to stop LeBron right now. 50 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. And here's Anthony from the arc. Trifecta. This is what happens when you allow Carmelo Anthony to heat up. James in the post. Anthony on him. Sinks it. Clutch shot right there. That could be the difference maker. Indeed, it might be a big, huge moment in this game right there. To the wing on the left. Galloway. It's in. Thirty seconds left in the fourth. Irving, count it. You know, once he crosses half court, you need to stay awake because he can drop it from deep. <laughs> no doubt, he is a threat from anywhere. New York calls timeout. They're behind by two. Twenty-three seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what do you think? And it all comes down to this. Still enough time on the clock that they should be able to get a real good look. Yeah, and in this case, you debate often. You hear guys debate whether to take a two for the tie or a three to win. Uh, in my case, with this situation, I think you go hard inside and see if you can get a good shot in close. Fires the three. Can't knock in the three. Anthony kicks to Galloway. It's good. This game is all even. His eyes were wide open there, guys. Excellent vision to see they had an open shot outside and get it there. Timeout called Cleveland. The score is tied at 61. Eight seconds left in the game. Now James. Got it up in time. Oh, it. Oh, wow. Down it goes at the buzzer. Boy, it doesn't get any better than that. Phenomenal finish. A three at the horn. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I guess really that's about the only way we could expect a game like this to close the curtain. <laughs> Jesus Christ.